Uh, obviously, the way in which you've just talked about the peasantry would is quite different from the Chernovian, uh, it seems to me, and the Shanin approaches. Uh, so perhaps, you know, if you could speak just a little bit about the reception by the peasantologists, if you like, of, of your departure. And connected to that, I mean, you know, I've recently seen uh, work citing your classes of labor, uh, you know, formulation in response to migrant uh, workers, uh, particularly because uh, in most, especially for South Asia, but possibly elsewhere as well, uh, most peasant households now have members who are migrant workers for at least part of the year, if not uh, permanently placed within impermanent mm. positions. And I think it has some implications for the way in which people have thought about class differentiation under capitalism. So if you could just address some of these issues. Uh, okay, I'll try to be reasonably brief. Um, uh, on the, uh, the, the first one, um, I, I, I take Chayanov seriously. I think he was a great socio-economic theorist as, as well as empirical um, researcher. And as is so often the case, um, I mean, Foucault also <laughs> comes very much to mind from a later moment. Um, the creativity and the challenges um, proposed by such theorists um, often get lost when they're taken up, when they become popular, when they have many followers. Now, there are a lot of contemporary agrarian populists, I'm talking about the intellectuals, um, who don't really know Chayanov. Um, it was interesting at a conference uh, several years ago in Toronto, I was on the panel there with Theodore Shanin, with Harriet Freeman, with Ben White, uh, with Jan Dauer van der Plerch, who I think is among the most serious of the contemporary uh, Chinovians. Uh, ben White, who was chairing, asked the audience, maybe three or four hundred people, the International Association of Rural Sociology, or whatever it's called, who had read Chinoff, mm. and a very, very small mm. number of hands went up. However, um, some of the populists are aware of Chinoff, and some, like Jan Dauer van der Plerch, have really taken his work very seriously. My problem with it is it, it's um, analytically, it's basically an essentialist concept. And I think Chayanov was fairly explicit that in his theory on model of peasant economy, it was something that applied to peasants throughout history. So very different epochs of history, under different modes of production, different social formations and so on. In fact, at times, Chinoff appears to lend himself to um, um, to, to uh, a notion of, of peasantry as a mode of production in itself. Mm. Okay, so that's analytically that was my problem. How can that be used to um, explore the very very diverse worlds of peasantries and contemporary capitalism? Uh, and I felt not, because at the core of that essentialist notion is that peasants adjust to their social environments. Mm -hmm. So under capitalism, they adjust as best they can with all the pressures of reproduction they confront, just as they did under feudalism or under different uh, historical circumstances. I also have um, a problem ideologically, if you like, or politically, with peasant populism, which is its, uh, which I've written about, which is the the conception that um, peasants are going to save the world, mm. you know, that they they have the um, mentalité, as the French say, they have the ideological framework, they have the knowledge, they have the means, they have the commitment, mm. if they are not oppressed by capitalism and by developmental states of various stripes, they can uh, develop a, a way of living and of feeding the world that is, um, you know, that is uh, much more attractive, um, is going to solve many of our current serious problems, to put it mildly, the ecological problem and so on. So those are my differences with the populist tradition. But I must say that I have, 
I try to engage with populists, which some of my um, perhaps stricter Marxist comrades do not. Mm. Um, I engage a lot with uh, John Boris, for example, yeah. um, with Jan Dauer, um, and, and with others who I think are, are, are serious mm. thinkers, and who also, this is one of the points I've been making, make more effort to connect, as far as I can see, with rural politics and rural social movements and so on uh, than uh, some of the more um, remote or orthodox uh, Marxist comrades do. So I take populism seriously and I, I do think that um, populism has, or, or I mean, it's a very broad term, but broadly populist uh, visions and, um, and, and commitments have been driving a lot more of the academic work and research on contemporary issues than, than, uh, than has come from Marxism. I mean, I think ecology is perhaps the, uh, you know, would, would be the, the foremost example.